Hey everyone, it's Jacqueline. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, subscribe because I post a new video every single week. Now, I don't know if the quality is worse than it usually is because I'm actually using my phone right now. I can't find my camera. I think I left it at my dad's house, but that wasn't gonna stop me from doing a video this week. So again, I apologize if the quality is not that great, but I do have my ring light, thank God. So I feel like that's bringing the whole video together. Anyway, today is gonna be a more chill video because I'm gonna be painting. But the twist is I don't have any brushes. I'm just gonna be using my hands so basically like finger painting but I could also use like my palm or anything I have no idea how I'm gonna do it I didn't plan this at all because I want you guys to see my genuine reaction of how I'm gonna do this what my thought process is if I'm gonna mess up and even if I do I bought another one just in case because I'm really scared that I'm gonna mess up so we're gonna try this so I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do it but I did see some inspiration on paintings and I think that it would be pretty easy but also a little bit challenging to do like a dandelion or maybe like two dandelions and then like a background also i have a bowl of water i don't know if that's smart or dumb but basically to like wash my hands like if i have too much paint on them and then i have some paper towels and i have all of my paint right here so let's get started okay so obviously we're gonna start with the background first so i think i'm gonna get some blues and i kind of want the background to be a little dark so i'm gonna get like gray and blue and then maybe a little bit of black just a tiny bit oh my god i don't know how i'm gonna do this okay so i'm gonna get the plate and i'm sorry that i don't have that many camera angles we're gonna put a little bit of black a little bit of blue well actually a lot of blue and then maybe just some gray and i'm trying to get a lot over here because i want it to cover pretty much the whole canvas okay let's just get right in let me pull up my sleeves okay let's just mix it with our hands see what color comes up okay that's a pretty color it's kind of like a midnight blue i want it to be like really dark for the background to be really dark okay so let's just put it right here and let's just go for it wow okay this is actually really fun I'm trying to cover as much as oh my god it looks so crazy over there okay so obviously i'm doing the sky right now i wanted it to be a dark sky when i was looking at inspiration i did find a photo that i kind of wanted to copy or like reference to but i forgot to save it and i was trying to look it up again so i could show you guys what it looks like but i honestly can't find it so i'm just trying to remember as much as possible what it looks like because as you guys know i'm not that bad at painting but that's only if i have like a reference if i don't have a reference i'm not that good <laughs> Okay, I can't believe that I poured the exact amount I needed to fit this canvas. I don't need any more. Okay, so I think we can move on. Let's move on to the clouds. I guess this was a smart idea. I'm just gonna dip my hands into the water. Okay, I want you to see what this looks like. You know, I give myself props for this because this was actually really smart. All right, so we're getting the color white. We're just gonna pour it. I'm actually gonna kind of mix it with the leftover I had right here because I don't want it to be completely white on the canvas. I just kind of want it to be blended in. Okay, let's mix it. That's actually kind of perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. So I'm just gonna go in the corners, kind of like this. Oh, that looks gray. You know what? We're gonna do it with gray and then we're just gonna put more white on top. Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell, but these are supposed to be the clouds. Uh, doesn't look that great right now, but we're getting there. This isn't the finished product. I thought maybe clouds would be really easy with my fingers, but I would say it's actually harder than using a brush. Guys, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, okay. Trust the process. Trust the process. We got this. Confidence is key. We will get there. Okay, so these are supposed to be clouds that like are in the night. It's supposed to look like those very like misty clouds that kind of look almost like fog. That's what I'm trying to do. What the heck is going on with my head? There's a little like piece of light. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna add a little more white. Okay, I'm scared. Okay. 
Okay, I feel like I'm not executing this as well as I would like to. I'm trying as hard as I can and it's not looking the way I want it to in my head. It actually does not look that bad. Not as bad as it was before. Okay, so I'm just washing my hands again because I want them to be very clean for the next part, which is going to be the moon. So I want the moon to be crystal white with a little bit of gray in it and do like a circle right here. Nice. That actually looks pretty good. And then we're just going to make... Ugh, that does not look good. Okay, never mind, never mind. I'm making it look worse. Oh no, I just ruined my moon. It was a beautiful white moon and now it's all gray. Okay, I'm actually just not gonna do anything to the moon right now. I'm gonna fix it later because I kind of want to let it dry. I think that's why nothing was happening to it. So I think now we're gonna start with the bottom piece, a lot of black with green, so that way I can make the grass like really dark because this is during nighttime, so I don't want like a dark background and then just like super bright green grass. So we're actually just gonna put a little bit of green and then we're gonna put a lot of black. It's not black, it's not green, but it's like dark green, you know what I mean? Just like how we did with the whole canvas, we're just gonna kind of go for it with three fingers right at the bottom. It actually does look black on the canvas though, so I think I'm gonna add more green. You know what was so dumb is like I was setting up for this video, like I was putting down the sheet cover, I was putting down the napkins, the canvas, I was just setting everything up and I was like, damn, where are my brushes? And I swear I was looking for my brushes for like 20 minutes before I realized that this video doesn't need brushes and I felt so dumb, I was like, oh my gosh. Dipping it in with my finger and we're gonna draw some grass right here. See, that's the thing about painting with your finger is that like it only gets to where you put the paint, it doesn't really spread out. So you see how I'm starting right here but then I try to like spread it out, it literally stays right there, so. Or can you guys see that? You can a little bit. You see how the paint only stays right here? And I'm just adding like a little bit of grass to the background. I know you guys can't see it, but you'll see it when I show you the whole thing up close. So I would say that my favorite thing to paint is actually nature. Not that I'm like crazy about nature, but that's just the only thing that gets me happy to paint. Oh no, that's a lie. There's a lot of things that make me happy to paint, but nature just hits different like there's just something about like drawing grass or water or flowers that just makes me feel so happy like it's so therapeutic anyway let's move on to two stems so i am gonna do like a longer one and then i'm gonna do a shorter one right here so we're just gonna get the dark green that we have right here kind of what we use for the background and then i'm just gonna draw a line i think i'm gonna start it right here and we're just gonna go down and then I think the other one, I'm gonna start it down here. Okay, so I'm just gonna get a little bit of white to highlight over here because the moon is on this side, so it's gonna shine a little brighter on this side. This is really hard with my finger because my finger is like too big for this. Okay, so this is where we're gonna go down here so that way it looks like they're in front of the grass. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put a little circle right here because that's where I'm gonna paint the white fluffy stuff for the damn line. So here we go, doesn't have to be perfect. And I think we should let that dry. I'm just gonna kind of play around with the bottom right here because I'm not too satisfied with how it looks. So I do want to give you guys a close up of what's going on over here. Here's what I'm trying to do at the bottom. I'm just trying to do a little more like grass down here. And then here's the highlight I did with the stem. These, I'm just letting it dry. My moon kind of looks like whacked up right now. Here's what my paint looks like. So I'm kind of like mixing this light green with the dark green, putting some grass down here. Okay, so personally, I think this looks a lot better than when it was just like blank because it didn't have that much texture to it. But yeah, I feel like it gives it a little more character. All right, okay, so this should be the fun part. 
hopefully. Okay, I don't think I have to think about it too much. I think I just have to like start patting with my finger and hope for the best. Let's start in the middle. Okay, not bad. Now let's start going outside. I don't want too much paint on the outside, just more so on the inside. I do want them much bigger though, so I think I want them like this big. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so the key is to have as little paint as possible on your finger, so that way it doesn't look too intense and it looks a little more delicate that way. Okay, I like it. Now we have to do it all over again. So let's see if I can make it look as good as that one. Ooh, this one's actually not looking that great. Okay, we're just gonna clump up a bunch of white in the middle. That way it looks whiter and not as gray. Okay, we're gonna come back to the dandelions because I don't really know what's wrong with it and usually when I come back, I kind of figure it out. So we're going to move on actually to the moon again because it's dry and I feel like I could add that gray that I wanted and kind of blend it around. Okay, I think that looks better. It's just that the moon is not popping out as much as the dandelions are. And I wanted the dandelions and the moon to be like majority of the focus. So I think I should just redo the moon. It'll be worth it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm going to redo the moon because we are trying to put some time and effort into this painting. Okay, you see how the moon pops out way more? Okay, that's what I want. I'm really happy I redid that. So I guess we're gonna have to wait for it to dry again so that we can go back to it. Um, okay, let's go back to the dandelions. Still haven't figured out what's wrong with it. Um, maybe it's just that this one is gray and this one's not. I think that's what's kind of messy up. But they both look actually pretty good. Okay, what I do want to do is I kind of want to do little dandelion thingies kind of flying this way. You know what I mean when you blow a dandelion and then like all the little thingies come out? I don't know what they're called. Um, I'm going to try to do some of those, but they are really tiny and probably a little too detailed for my finger, but we'll try. We're going to do the lines first. Some this way, some that way, that one, that one, that one. Done with the lines. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of like. I'm trying to make it like fluff out, but my finger is just so big that it's like blending everything together. I feel like it was good to just like do whatever when it came to like the grass down here, but not this part. I should not have done it on this one because I was just kind of going like, woo, and I should have kind of paid a little more attention to it because it is way smaller and it's supposed to pop out. The grass is not supposed to really pop out down here. So um, maybe I should have just been a little more careful with these, but you know, we already did it. So we're just trying to fix it. Okay, so I'm just doing like little tiny black dots at the bottom of this because that's what they have. <laughs> Oh my gosh, who knew that the moon was gonna be like the hardest part of this painting? Okay, so I think I'm going to fix up the sky a little bit because I feel like there's a little too many things going on. There's too many like swooshes, too many wind highlights. And I feel like it's kind of taking away from the dandelions. Like, you know, I kind of want the focus to just be on these two. So I'm just gonna go in with more gray to kind of get rid of like these really harsh white lines. Like I still want them to show, I just don't want them to be as harsh. I feel like the time that I took to do those clouds is just all going to waste right now because I'm just covering it up. But you know what? Actually, it's not a waste because I feel like I wouldn't be able to make it look like this if it weren't for like the white that's underneath. So I don't think it's a waste because it would not have looked like this. It would have looked like this down here, you know what I mean? So yeah, no regrets, no regrets. Okay, I like it. Now it actually kind of looks like a little more like clouds are in there, but they're not too intense. 
Like you're not focusing on them. Okay, so I think this dandelion is dry, so I'm gonna try to make it white like this one. Put it right in the middle. There you go. Okay, that looks way better. Okay guys, I think I'm done with this painting and I actually really like how it turned out. Um, I don't know what it would have looked like if I actually used some brushes, but for hands, I would say I did a pretty good job. Like I'm actually impressed. I didn't think I was gonna do this well. So just to give you guys a little bit of a close up so you can see exactly what my painting looks like. There's the moon, not too bad. I like how it turned out. Um, the sky, as you can see up close, you can see all the details. Um, it did not look good before, and I would say maybe it doesn't look that good now, but from far away it looks pretty good. And then we have the dandelions. Um, now they both match. Before this one was like extremely gray. So as you can see, they look pretty white. And then here are the stems. Here's the grass. There's also a little bit of a cloud thing right here. Here's the little thingies that fly off the dandelion. And that's it. That's my painting of just using my hands. I'm extremely proud of myself and I'm really happy that I chose to do this video because it was super fun to do. Let me know if you guys enjoy these kind of like art videos and then I could do more. Um, comment down any other challenges that you think I should do. And that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.